So I just wanted to make a video about the insane sensitivity of strain gauges and how that can make them quite difficult to work with sometimes. I've uh, set up this Arduino here which just passes on the signal from the power meter, picks it up with the NRF module and then puts it into the serial to display it onto the screen here as a graph. So this is the, the power meter. If I flex the crank, you can see the value changes, flex it the other way, and it goes up the way. What I discovered, I think it was when I put my finger on one of the strain gauges, is that if you warm up one side, and even just blowing on it, that's how insanely sensitive it is, but just blowing on it will change the value. And as it cools down, you get that nice curve, cooling curve. And back down pretty much. And if I blow on the other side, it goes the other way. That's just how insanely sensitive they are, that they just blowing warm air on them is enough to change the value so having it just a bit of change due to temperature is really not that bad considering the other test I can do is if I have the crank that way I can actually weigh the weight of the crank So is the resolution good enough? I would say it's not that bad if I put a pedal onto the end of the crank. And you can see it's picking up the weight of the pedal. which I think is pretty insane for sensitivity and that's what makes them so difficult to work with they just pick up anything and even like radio interference as well will, will cause issues I mean uh, this is, is protected as much as I can with metal but I, I think it still picks up something there it is <laughs> picks up just blowing on them is enough to change the value. So that's basic demonstration of the sensitivity of strain gauges. Thank you for watching.